In this video, we'll talk about myopathies, how they present, and how can we differentiate one type from the other. So we can divide the main types of myopathies into three main categories. The first is going to be inflammatory. Second is going to be endocrine related. And the third is toxins or medications. Now inflammatory myopathy is mainly the polymyositis and we have as well inclusion body myositis. Endocrine related hypo and hyperthyroidism can be a cause as well as Cushing syndrome or high steroid intake. And the toxins, we have the alcohol and statins as the main causes of myopathies. Now, general approach that we need you guys to know when you answer questions. If the patient presents with weakness only, then the differential is going to be three. Polymyositis, inclusion body myositis, and steroid induced. Now, we can differentiate based on the site involved. So polymyositis is more proximal. Inclusion by myositis is mainly distal muscles and can initially be presenting as asymmetric, then it becomes symmetric. Steroids is proximal as well and usually symmetrical involvement. The way you can differentiate it from polymyositis is they have other manifestations that would be present and the patient would mention to you that they started steroids around a month ago. Now, if the patient presents with pain, cramps in the muscles without any weakness, then the differential is going to be statin or alcohol. Statin is more proximal, while alcohol is more distal. Now, if the patient presents with pain and weakness of his muscles, then the differential is going to be hypothyroidism, which usually involves the proximal muscles. And if you like to approach the case based on the muscle involved, then you can say distal muscles Involvement is mainly alcohol and inclusion body myositis. And all the others are proximal muscle involvement. Now we can differentiate based on the labs as well. All of the myopathies have CK elevated except for steroid myopathy. And the only one that has ESR elevated is going to be polymyositis. And make sure you know that IBM or inclusion body myositis does not have elevated ESR. Now, if you want to do an EMG, you need to know two diseases. The first one is polymyositis, and the second one is hypothyroidism. In polymyositis, you will have fibrillary waves and polyphasic motor unit potential. While in hypothyroidism, it's more sleepy, no fibrillary waves here, and the amplitude will be low. Now, if you want to do biopsy, you need to know how polymyositis looks like. And that's inflammatory cells as well as necrosis. While inclusion body myositis, it includes from the name inclusion bodies, and these are cytoplasmic bodies or vacuoles that can be seen under the microscope. Now let's talk about some important information. So we talked about statins. Now you need to know which statins are less likely to cause muscle pain, and these are I memorize them as FPP, fluva statin, pravastatin, and pitastatin. So now you need to differentiate between steroid and polymyositis. And the reason it's important because patients with polymyositis, their treatment of choice is steroids. So you have to know if the patient is having worsening polymyositis versus steroid-induced myopathy. And the easiest way to do that is decreasing the dose of steroid. So if you decrease the dose of steroid and the patient comes next week with worse symptoms, then you know that this is polymyositis because you decrease the dose and polymyositis has been getting worse. If the patient has steroid myopathy, decreasing the dose will help and fix the problem. And the last thing here is polymyalgia rheumatica. I did not mention it with the myopathies because it's a vasculitis, but they usually ask about it with the myopathies in the differential diagnosis as well as in the choices. So. You have to know that PMR is proximal, pain, and no weakness. 
and it has ESR elevated like polymyositis. Polymyositis is weakness only and here it's pain only. And that's the intro for myopathies. Hope you guys learned something. See you in the next one.